What's up guys, it's your boy, Shaka Antoine, and in today's video, we are fishing with Captain Tom on his charter, uh, Montauk Fishing Charters, and on his boat is uh, Hammer Time. Okay, my boy here, uh, John, invited me out for a charter with his co-workers, and uh, any opportunity I get to fish with Captain Tom, I jump at it. I don't, uh, I never want to miss any of those type of trips because they're always uh, full of fish, you know, and full of fun. All right, and it's in uh, no other place other than Montauk. This is probably the best place to be to catch striped bass, especially now here in the Northeast. Um, but first, we bottom fish. You always bottom fish before we start bassing. And uh, his mate Gus here is getting the clams ready for this uh, porgy and sea bass fishing. All right, now the porgies in Montauk, I always know them to be a rather on the large size, and that one there is just a prime example. We also had our limit on sea bass, and as you can see there, John is uh, jigging them up. John also set out to catch a fluke using a Skinner rig, and he was, as you can tell, very successful. A very nice fluke he has there. Yeah, I caught a very nice sea bass of which I did not get it on camera. Um, but here's a nice still photo of it. That's right. It's hammer time. It's time to start bassing. Using eels, of course. Now this first fish took quite a bit of time to uh, to bite. Uh, this is one of John's co-workers, and I believe this is his first time catching them from the boat. In efforts to try to conserve battery, I didn't get all of the fish on video. This is the first one, like I said. And I actually got mine, which is next. All right. Nice fish. Yay. Very nice. Solid. That fish was on the mother. Oh, shit. Look at the size. <laughs> Holy. Holy. Getting him is not in the right spot. You got to hit him right. Yo, I couldn't. My hand actually cramped up. Nice. 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 Alright, reel them up guys, let's do that again. Cramped up. Listen, you gotta work out more. This was one of the three 30 pound class fish that came up on this trip. The other two were 40s. Who's pulling this? Okay, I must apologize for this rest of this fish right. being in the dark. Uh, Captain Tom is a strong believer of catching these fish in the dark, not alerting other boats to our location. I don't know, but you can hear the audio very clearly. I see you, Chaka. Don't don't worry. This fish was right all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. You can hear our feet shuffling, trying to keep up with it. Right here, right here. Oh, oh. You really reel, reel him up. Tell that guy over there to reel him up. We can't find anyway. Go over this. Reel it up quick, 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 quick. Reel up. Reel the pole. Nice knee, nice knee. Nice knee. Just tell him to reel it up quick. Just watch for this thing. Reel up, shock, reel up, reel up. He ain't ready yet. Still pulling dry. Keep reeling, reeling. Right. No, 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 over there, move out of the way. Keep 
Let's move in. Larry. Right here. Reach over him and hit him. Reach over him and hit him. Reach over him and hit him. Next thing I gotta do is like that. Alright. Alright, let's do that again, guys. Alright. Guys, we're gonna do one more drift here. That's it. You wanna go again? Can I get some light, bro? Guys, we're gonna do one more drift, whether we get it or not. Hope we get some more. Worth noting, the lights will only come on when we are away from the spot where we caught the fish. We actually did not get the opportunity to take our group photos after I caught this fish. The heavens opened up because it was a storm nearby and we all had to take shelter. Once we got back to the docks, I was able to take uh, this just one photo with the fish that I caught. Please remember to like and share my videos and also subscribe to my channel.